Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, energy check-in for uh, cancer. Uh, you could apply this to any replacements. Um, since uh, this reading could be anything, nothing specific, we're just going to see what the cards have to say. This is going to be for the second half of your August from the 15th. No, the 16th to the 31st. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? Um, one of the six of cups that came out. Um, I'm not going to take it. I didn't really set the intentions, okay? Um, let's see. Over energies. We'll see if that comes back out. Over energies for cancer. What is surrounding cancer? for the second half of the uh, second half of August from the 16th to the 31st. What is surrounding cancer? What does cancer need to know? Right, we have the page of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There you are right here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Could have any of those energies in your chart. Could be dealing in, with any of those energies, past, present, or future. And the Five of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And the Four of Cups. Cancer, I feel like you're looking for more. When it comes to your life's purpose, I feel like you guys are receiving a lot of messages from your guides and your ancestors here. Okay. I do feel like, you know, whatever you're going through right now, whatever you're experiencing, it's just not enough. You're looking for more. Okay, you're looking for something that's really emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay, um, you know, I feel like this is regarding your spirituality. This is regarding your spiritual growth here. Okay, you know, some of you guys might be turning to light work to do light work or something like that. Tell me about the page of cups. But there's an energy of definitely starting all over again, especially with the pages being here. Tell me about the page of cups here. We have the ten of cups. Wow. Tell me about temperance. We have the seven of cups. Seems like you're trying to find happiness here. Seems like you're trying to find some sort of clarity regarding, you know, where you belong, where you stand, where you fit into the world, okay? Um, tell me about the uh, five of pentacles here. For some of you guys, you guys could be struggling financially or that some of you guys could be, uh, you know, struggling with insecurity here, insecurity from your childhood. The five of pentacles here, because I feel like you've experienced a lot of loss when you were a child. This is coming up again, uh, six of cups. So I feel like, you know, there's an energy of healing from the past, facing your past here. Okay. Tell me about the hierophant. I feel like some of you guys have abandonment issues, okay? Uh, some of you guys could have been foster kids, foster children. You, could have, you guys could have been adopted, all right? The Hierophant, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about this Page of Swords. With the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. You've been through a lot. Cancer. And I feel like you're looking for more. You're looking for more in terms of your soul's journey, your spiritual path, okay? Uh, your spiritual growth, personal growth here, your healing. Tell me about this Four of Cups here. Why is the Four of Cups here? And we have the star, Aquarius energy. It seems like you're being called for some sort of higher calling here. 
you know, that star card is a representation of someone here giving back to others, helping others here. You know, this is a card of, you know, of doing light work here. Some of you guys might already be light workers, but I feel like it maybe, uh, you know, while you're doing what you're doing, you're seeking for, uh, you know, you're seeking uh, like a higher purpose here. Because I feel like you're feeling like you're meant to do something even greater, okay? Even more. Outcome and advice here for Cancer regarding their situation for the second half of their August from the 16th to the 31st. What else does Cancer need to know? What else does Cancer need to know? We have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And we have the Emperor here, Aries energy and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There could be someone that you love here that you're trying to connect with. Someone here might be coming back from the past and is looking for a reconciliation, trying to offer you commitment here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the F Three of Wands. I feel like regarding your relationships, regarding your soul tribe, regarding your family, I feel like it's going through a huge transformation. I feel like you're going through a huge transformation, okay? The Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy and the Queen of Cups. It seems like you're looking at someone here. There's someone here that you're interested in. There's someone here that you're looking to reconnect with here. Okay, now this could be, you know, a past person, an ex. Maybe this could be a family member. Maybe you're reconnecting with a parent here, okay? Uh, you know, this This is for those of you guys that are adopted or something like that. Maybe you guys are, you guys might be searching for your birth parents, okay? Uh, the uh, Queen of Pentacles and the five, uh, Three of Wands. There's an energy of you looking towards the future here. You're definitely waiting for your ships to sail in. So I feel like you're, you're definitely planting some seeds here, trying to manifest here, um, uh, Cancer. Tell me about the Two of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles. That's a true pair right there. Seems like you guys might be meeting a soulmate here. Your, your soulmate is just on the horizon here, just about to come towards you, I feel. Okay? I do feel like whoever this is, this is, someone, uh, this is marriage material. This is, this is someone that you're going to start dating or that you're already started dating and that it's going to move to move into uh, something more. Okay? The Queen of Wands and the Devil. Be careful of people trying to get in the way of, um, of this relationship or get in the way of your personal growth and your spiritual growth here. Whoever this is, this is a very toxic individual. Whoever this is, I feel like this person might pull this uh, person away from you, okay? Uh, Capricorn energy with the devil here. Tell me about the uh, emperor. Why is the emperor here? The empress. I, I do feel like you're about to meet a new soulmate here, okay? Queen, Queen of Cups. In the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So this is going to happen very slowly, okay? I feel like it's not going to happen very fast. I feel like it's going to come to you when you're ready for it. Uh, if this person could be in your energies already. So like I said, some of you guys could be dealing with this person. Uh, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, but yeah, it seems like you're meeting someone new. Tell me about the Queen of uh, Pentacles here. Or that you will, or that you have. Four of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Sun card. Four of Pentacles and the Sun. Leo energy. Seems like you're moving towards your happiness here. We have the King to the Queen of Swords. Seems like someone here might be coming towards you here, uh, uh, Cancer. But just be careful of someone here trying to ruin your progress here, okay? Um, or ruin what you're about to have, what you're about to achieve here. I mean, this could be a sibling or something like that. This could be a friend or a family member. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Whoever this is, this person might come in and take your person away from you, okay? Whoever this is, this could be a very jealous, jealous individual. So uh, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.